This is Broadcast Beat Magazine with Ryan Salazar. Ryan Salazar here with Broadcast Beat Magazine. We have a special guest, B. Lent, with AirTies Wireless Networks. How you doing, sir? I'm doing great. How about you? Doing wonderful. So everybody's getting excited for the IBC show coming up. You guys are exhibiting. Tell us what you're all about. Well, what, what we're all about is uh, streaming high-quality video throughout the home over a wireless network. I mean, uh, the whole broadcast industry is now shifting on over to, uh, you know, various forms of IP and, and over the top, using the general internet to actually broadcast stuff. But the, uh, the in-home network has now become the last mile, if you will, uh, that really needs to be solved. Um, and it creates a bunch of bottlenecks about the quality of the video and especially like when you go into a 4K, it's, so you're talking about 25 megabits worth of, uh, you know, uh, capacity that's needed to be able to stream that. And, and the, the home wireless networks are just not capable of, of handling uh, that today. And so we, we solve those types of problems. So you guys, uh, you guys have wireless access points, you have set top boxes. The whole industry is 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 over the top, if you will, nowadays. And uh, maybe go into that a little bit more and elaborate on on, on your other products as well. Uh, sure. So the, uh, the 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 access points and the and the gateways are basically there to essentially implement this uh, wireless uh, uh, home network, a premium Wi-Fi type of a uh, uh, service. Um, and, and the access points are actually, actually act, acting as uh, mesh nodes throughout the, throughout the home. The set-top boxes are also a perfect uh, wireless mesh node uh, so that they actually take the over-the-top video stream, they connect to the internet wirelessly, um, and, then, uh, 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 and then display it in, in very, very high quality. With, now with the, uh, uh, with the HEVC uh, uh, codex, uh, you're able to get very high quality video, like you know, 1080p um, at, for, at about two to three uh, megabits per second, which is very sustainable over the unmanaged uh, internet. And one of our products that we're introducing uh, here uh, is, is a 4K set-top box with HEVC, but it also is a is a wireless access point at the same time. Um, if you stop and think about, you know, people uh, are constantly using their mobile devices in front of the television. I think there's something like 70% of the, uh, when, when people are viewing things, they also have a mobile device that they're, you know, Facebooking and chat, chatting and et cetera. And, and, uh, and these mobile devices have very, very poor uh, wireless connections. And, um, and by having, turning the set-top box into an access point, you get a very, very good connection between it and the, uh, uh, and, and, and the mobile device. And so you get a much better user experience uh, that way. And in regards to these set-top boxes, um, I'm curious how they work. Uh, you know, I, I don't know your product specifically, but so does your, do your set-top boxes, obviously they have Wi-Fi capabilities, they can work as an access point. But um, do they subscribe to services through the box, or do you guys a lot work with with providers? How does that work? Yeah, we uh, uh, we work together with the you know some of the leading European uh, providers right now. Um, we work with customers like uh, Orange Spain, uh, uh, Wow in Denmark, uh, you know uh, Digiturk, which is a satellite uh, uh, guy. Uh, to actually deliver the over-the-top uh, solutions. So, you know, these set-top boxes have a HTML5 uh, browser implemented with the HPV TV uh, standards. Usually the operators themselves want to have a, their own version of, of, the, of the user interface, and uh, they'll actually, uh, you know, implement their own, own UI. And, of course, they're the ones that are actually supplying the service. In fact, very related to this, uh, there's a uh, major European uh, satellite company called SES. I don't know uh, if you're uh, if you're familiar with them. Uh, they're one of the largest core satellite capacity suppliers. Uh, we're in partnership with them, which we're going, uh, which we're announcing at uh, at IBC, 
um, the, uh, that we're working together on a complete end-to-end -end, uh, solution where SES is going to provide the, the entire infrastructure, the, the CDNs, the, uh, the, the, the head end, um, and then we're going to supply the box and the, and, the, and the streaming capability. And it's essentially, you know, it's a white label solution for anybody uh, who wants to start addressing these OTT uh, uh, market segments. Uh, they can come to us and then, you know, we can get them out the door very, very quickly. It's amazing that uh, set-top boxes have come to the market by storm, basically. Um, and it, it's just wild that uh, the, the industry is evolving so quickly at this, at this point. It's, it's at a pretty rapid pace. Don't you agree? Uh, absolutely. And, and I mean, what, what has happened is what has happened to every other industry before. You know, once the Internet and the IP protocols get involved, everything turns upside down. And it just evolves at, a, at an amazing clip. Um, and that's that's what we're, what's going on. I mean, everything's going digital, everything's going IP, um, and then it becomes interactive. The whole usage models change. Uh, you know, all these uh, you know tablets and and laptops and etc. are now you know uh, different screens. In fact, in many ways, I think the tablet is is rapidly becoming the primary screen. It's not even a, a secondary screen because. Most of the millennials, I mean, the kids, they they want to watch it on a on a private uh, on on their own little uh, screen upstairs in their in their bedroom, and uh, so so all of that is just uh, changing at an incredible pace. And then now you have content providers have full capability of delivering uh, their content directly to consumers. They can you know just over the over uh, again use an OTT. So uh, it's major, major, massive change going on. And so I'm curious, um, your equipment, uh, and, and I'm sure this is the case, I'm sure they have the ability to do uh, video on demand type stuff or live streaming, correct? Yes, yes, we do. Uh, we do live streaming, video on demand, catch up TV, uh, pause, live pause, uh, uh, I mean, pause live TV. I mean, basically anything you can imagine um, from a from a service capability perspective, it's uh, you know our products are capable of doing uh, doing those things, um, and for example, the deployment of of, of Orange, it they uh, uh, you know they're not using broadcast technology at all. They're using OTT uh, technology, um, and they went to multi-screen immediately because they you know they implemented one set of user interfaces. And then applied the same thing to the tablet and the smartphone and the and the laptop, and uh, and you know rolled out a multi-screen service uh, uh, on on day number one. And they had all the advantages of keeping everything in the cloud. Okay, so they could make changes uh, quickly in the cloud and offer new capability and new services. Thank you so much for spending your time with us this morning. Uh, just so our audience knows, he's all the way in Istanbul, Turkey. <laughs> <laughs> So, thank so, you. so, Belen, uh, thank you so much, and we'll see you at the 2015 IBC show in just a few days. Fantastic. Thank you much.